kept that gun at Mr. Wilkins' home. Absolutely not. You are a liar. He was a righteous man who was framed by you. You gotta start believing in me, Kim. Chicago PD, all new next Wednesday on NBC. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Eli Manning, NBC Tonight. Prop 27 sends 90% of profits from online sports betting to out-of-state corporations in places like New York and Boston. No wonder it's so popular out there. Yeah! I can't believe those idiots are going to fall for this. 90%. <laughs> hey, Mark, did you know California's sending us all their money? Suckers. Who's idiots? <laughs> Imagine that. A whole state made up of suckers. Vote no on 27. It's a terrible deal for California. We win, you lose. C4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is from Fontana, where there is a large police presence. Law enforcement source tells us they are searching for someone who may have shot at an officer. Ileana Moreno overhead in News Chopper 4. Ileana? Chuck and Colleen, we're in Fontana tonight, just east of the Fontana Speedway, off of Live Oak and Ceres. This is a residential neighborhood where, as you can see, San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies, alongside officers from supporting agencies, are on scene with a police canine searching for whoever opened fire on a deputy tonight. Fortunately, at this point, we don't believe that that deputy was actually struck by the gunfire, but as you can see, there is an active search underway that not only involves patrol units here in the neighborhood, but also a police helicopter overhead, continuing their search for whoever opened fire on that deputy. That's latest here from Fontana and News Chopper 4. Let's send it back down to you in the studio. Well, tonight was debate night here in Los Angeles as the candidates for mayor and county sheriff went head to head on stage. NBC 4's Conan Nolan was there. He joins us live from the newsroom with more on what happened. Conan. That's right, Colleen. Two debates back to back. Sheriff, mayor, possibly the two most consequential races on the November ballot. The undercard, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva. They want a puppet, and we have the person right here. And challenger Robert Luna, the police chief in Long Beach. When you're working with people, that doesn't mean you're a puppet. Villanueva argued that his re-election is about the independence of the sheriff's office, arguing that Luna is a candidate of the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, whom the sheriff has fought with over budgets, policy, and in court. He's not going to touch public corruption. He won't touch it with a 10-foot pole, because his job as puppet is to look the other way. This nonsense has got to stop. We've got to start acting like adults. Conflict on law enforcement, such as the issue of deputy gangs. Everyone who claims, oh my God, the sky is falling, deputy gangs are running up, name a single one. You just heard, he doesn't, he doesn't acknowledge they exist. Can't fix a problem you don't know exists. Then it was time for the main event. I think this is an act of desperation, Rick. L.A. mayoral candidate and frontrunner Congresswoman Karen Bass on the attack from businessman Rick Caruso, who called into question a $100,000 scholarship she received from USC's School of Social Work, which has been investigated by the U.S. Department of Justice. Federal prosecutors have said, there was no application. She got a $95,000 scholarship. She failed to, to report it in Congress on the paperwork where it had to be reported. Prosecutors say Bass is not the focus of the probe, and the House Ethics Committee ruled her degree while a gift would ultimately help her as a member of Congress. To better serve the children of the United States, I didn't apply for an MBA so that I could be a venture capitalist. It's a social work degree. The two clashed over how to solve the homeless crisis. Caruso wants immediate shelters. Bass wants long-term supportive housing. We have five people a day in Skid Row alone dying. 
the population is growing. People are living in their own waste. Everything that is working works when you get people off the street. And what we have done too long is we have put people in shelters.